everybody. Welcome back to the Ad Dad Can Learn YouTube channel. I'm Dad. I'm NJ. We've got some awesome content coming your way, but before we get there, we just want to ask everybody to go check us out on our Twitter and our Facebook. At Dad Can Learn. At Dad Can Learn for the both of those. We've also got the website up and running and our merch store. You can get to both of those by going to... DadCanLearn.com. DadCanLearn.com. Make sure you go subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and click the little notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the future it awesome content. It makes the bell happy. It makes the bell happy. So here we go. Not long ago, NJ and I were talking about how to do skins. And he was like, oh, I could show you how to do that, and I'd love to see how to do that. So I, I wanted him to show me. But there's some different steps from what he's used to on his Xbox versus doing it on the computer. There's different files and that sort of thing that, that we had to get. He spent some time figuring out what to do, where to go, um, and how to get everything that we needed. And now I know how to make skins. So we're going to walk you back through what he's taught me and what we've shown and what we've learned um, so we can do that. So let's go onto the screen here. Obviously, the, the, the screen opens um, like this. I guess I should bring this down so you can see where I'm going. There we go. So this is where our, our Java Minecraft starts. And it's really simple. You go to skins and create a new skin. You go to browse for a file so you can load one in, but how do you make that file? Uh, ooh, what, what are the requirements of the file size? How do you how does it know where to go? And that's really, so we didn't know. So we did cruise around um, cruise around the internet. We found some, some different maps and different things that we needed to do. But so the, in the internet. Yeah. The but finally, what we figured out the most for sure way to go is this little question mark button on the program itself. It says create your own skin, find ready-made skins on the internet. Check out this article. So we clicked on the article and it brought us to here. So it shows you how to upload skins and that sort of thing, but how do you actually do a skin? I don't know. Well, there's a couple different ways right here. And then when you go to click on it, it brings you this little bitty guy right here. What is that? Maybe if you zoom in. Yeah. It doesn't allow you to zoom in just like this. So we actually had to make this into a screenshot and then and blow it up and that sort of thing. Blow it up. Yeah. I'm going to take the TNT. <gasps> Okay, and then we used our paint expert application that we have. If you're on a PC, this is exactly or almost exactly like Microsoft Paint, um, but we're on a Mac, so that's the one that we use there. So then it opens up into this in a bigger file. And but how do you know what's what? Obviously, you can see that the, the, the face is right there with the little eyes, but how do you know what's what? We, uh, we were able to cruise around and we found this blurry little image. And uh, NJ, were you able to read what that said? No. No. But he was. I took some time and I got I squinted real hard. And uh, I got, you know, I got it little so that the, the uh, distortion wasn't as bad. And I think we finally figured out, um, I think we finally figured out uh, what each thing said and the reason I knew how to do it is because he wrote it down on a piece of paper I did I translated it into my chicken scratch handwriting from from that as best I could and then NJ said okay Well, let me give it a go So we did and this is what we have. and so This is how it turned out for those of you who aren't familiar with transparency and images That's what all this little gray and white box is. Um, it's got to be a PNG image. There might be other image files as well. The only one I'm familiar with is a PNG image to get that transparency on the background. Uh, he took out a lot of the double layers um, just to make things a little more simple. Then once you get to there, that's when you, um, once you fill in all the colors as you want to, that's when you go back to here and you click browse and you find the skin that you loaded up which is that one right there. Then once you get to that, you have to name it, you have to save it, and then you can click save and use, and then it loads for you. We did a little screenshot just for fun. That's the one NJ drew up so now that he could teach me how to do it. Then once he taught me how to do it, he did it himself. I took a little more time. 
mm-hmm. on figuring it out. And I think we have made an incredible, and I think NJ thinks the same thing too, right? Mm-hmm. I think we've made a really awesome representation of the Dad Can Learn community. There we go. Look at that. And it even has their logo. Yeah, we did our logo on the front. We also did our, our black and white logo on the back. And it says NJ. NJ did want his own marking on it. So, of course, I gave him that. But it's representative, not only the colors representative of our logo, but they're just representative of everything. Mainly saying, mainly pointing out that everybody here is welcome. Um, you know, it doesn't matter if you're a mom, a dad, an aunt, an uncle, a brother, a sister, a, a foster parent, a stepmom, a stepdad. It doesn't matter. Sons, daughters, either way, our entire goal is, is to get parents or parent figures and their kids to reclaim that relationship that the world has tried to steal away. So I, I think we're really happy with that skin. And so as we go through on Minecraft, you'll start seeing that skin more and more often. And maybe you'll see the skin I made. Maybe. I think we're going to see that skin an awful lot too, because I think it's pretty cool. Um, you want to walk them back through your skin and kind of what it means? Yeah. Like what you're aiming for? Yeah. So, so can I, can I use the mouth? So, uh, sure. So, you can see that Preston is my favorite YouTuber, so I put, I put his face on here, and then I like fire, so I put fire here, and then why not just put a normal leg out of nowhere? So I put one here, and then I attempted to make a fire shooting hand. I think that makes sense. I think I could tell that that hand would be a hand that would shoot fire. And then on the back, we have this. His energy cord. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that part. And then his arm and his leg on the other side, those are like robotic? Yep. And they and he can fly with it. <laughs> I get it. Well, I think that's wonderful. Now he's the one going crazy, not me. Okay. All right. So that's just a real quick little blurb on, on what we found to do skins. If you have a better way of doing it, an easier way, make sure and put that down in the comments and let us look at that, look at it and we'll talk about it. We'll, we'll see what it is. And also in those comments or on our Twitter or on our Facebook, either way, um, you know, show us the skins that you've come up with, whether it's your favorite one that you've done or some of the crazier ones that you've done. All right. Well, thanks for checking this out. Like I said, like we said in the intro, make sure to go and and like, subscribe, click the little notifications. You've heard this a million times before, Um, but also go check us out on our dadcanlearn.com or at Twitter or Facebook at dadcanlearn. I'm dad. I'm MJ. And we're out. Bye. Hey y'all. Thanks for stopping by the dad can learn YouTube channel. Hopefully you liked what you just saw. Hopefully you like what you'll see after you subscribe. So go ahead and do that for us. Give us a thumbs up on these videos. And also make sure you go check us out on our Facebook and our Twitter accounts. They're both at Dad Can Learn for some notifications and updates and things like that. We're trying to grow this community full of parents and kids that are trying to reclaim the relationship that the world has tried to steal away from them. Um, so we look forward to seeing it grow and we look forward to seeing you next time.